In this texturing tutorial for beginners, I will show you how to get started using Material Maker. This was a requested tutorial from Europe. The link to download the software is in the description. Material Maker is a PBR procedural material editor and texture painting tool, which is based on the Godot game engine. When you first open Material Maker, you will be presented with an empty material project that has a single material node. At the top of the window, you will see the main menu, which has five standard menu items. The large area in the center is called the graph panel, which is where the materials are edited. On the top left, you have the library with access to the available nodes. To the bottom left, you have a 2D and 3D preview window, the histogram panel, and the reference panel. On the right is the hierarchy panel that shows the hierarchy of groups for the current material. To zoom in and out, hold down the control key and use your middle mouse button. To pan, hold down the middle mouse button. To select, you can hold down the left mouse button and drag over a node to select it. To move a node, simply select the node and hold down the left mouse button. The entirety of Material Maker is based upon a node system. There are two ways to bring in nodes into the graph panel. One way is to simply drag and drop a node from the library. You can also use the space bar to access the library within the graph panel. Notice that you can see the pattern in the 2D preview. Once I connect the bricks node to the albedo of the material node, I can now see the bricks texture on the 3D preview. One of the great things about these nodes is that when you hover over any of the inputs or outputs, you are told what each one does. In addition, if I click on any of the outputs, I can access a preview within the node for that particular part of the node. If I click on any of the inputs of the Materials node, I can access the library. To unlink a node, simply click on the end of the noodle. Let's now make a simple wood material so we have a practical example of how to use Material Maker. First, I will add a Warp 1 node, which will give me a warped texture. I will then add a Colorize node to add some color to the Warp texture. I do this by dragging a noodle from the Warp 1 output and then selecting Colorize from the library. I double click on the black color stop and change the color to an orange color. I use the hex code E59447. I double click on the white color stop and change the color to a mid gray. I use the hex code 808080. I double click below the gradient to add a third color stop and move it to the right. I then change this color stop to a brighter orange. I use the hex code FCB542. Add a fourth color stop and change the color to a softer orange color. I use the hex code F2BF3F. When I select the Colorize node, I can now have a look at the 2D preview and make any final adjustments as needed.
I now add an adjust HSV node so I can adjust the hue, saturation, and value of the colorized node. In my case, I will decrease the saturation by hovering my cursor over the value and moving my mouse to the left to change the value. I then connect the adjust HSV to the albedo of the material node. In the 3D preview, I can now see what this material looks like. To pan around in 3D preview, hold down the left mouse button. I will now double click on the scale X for the warp 1 node and change the scale X to 2. I also change the scale Y to 20 and the iterations to 6. I now add a noise node which will be used as a normal map. I drag a noodle from the noise output and add a blend node from the library. This will allow me to blend both textures. I then connect the noise to the source 2 input and the warp 1 to the source 1 input. I then add a normal map node by dragging a noodle from the blend node. I connect the normal map node to the normal input of the material node. I change the grid size and the density of the noise to suit my needs. I change the source 1 blend mode to screen and lower the strength of the normal map. I can now save this file for use later. These materials can be exported for the Godot game engine, Unity, or Unreal Engine. When you export the material, you will be exporting PNG images as well as files that are specific to the game engine. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.